Hi, in this session, we'll learn how to create a CTS view in Eclipse, that is web development tool in Eclipse. And after that, we'll publish that CTS view as the OETA service. And then we'll add some annotations in the CTS view. And after that, we'll create a query list report app in business application studio. So first to create a CTS view in our SV system, right click, new, other. Now by default here, I can see the definition. If you're not able to see this, just search with DDL. Okay, select this and click on next. Here, first give the package. I don't want to transfer this. So I will select the package as local, that is dollar TMP. And here you have to give the CTS view name. So here I'm giving the name as ZK BTP underscore CTS03. And here description here CTS V4 BTP, any name you can give here. And then click on next. As I'm clicking as a local object. So no need to select or create any transport here. Click on next button. So define view and click on finish. Now here, I want to create a CTS view based on the VB take a table. Same scenario, this time with the help of CTS view. As last time I created directly Volta service. So this time what I will do, I will use this table VB AK and based on this VBK table, I will select some columns in the CDS view. Okay, so here first we have to give the SQL view name. It says ZK underscore CDS03. Okay, this is SQL view name and this CDN name. Now here give the source. I want to select data from VBAK. Now here we'll add all the columns. So as I want to create a OLTA service based on this CDS view. So here we require at least one key field. So what I will do, I will add one key field as VP ELN. The second columns, which I want to display from this, this VBK table is ER date, AU date, NetWR and Kunnar. Okay, so here second, Non key field, I will add as ER date. Next, I want AU ART. Then I want net WR plus control plus a space. And last field, I want to select as Kunnar. Okay. Save. Check. Here you can see. No syntax error, only warning messages are there. Now, once we activate, we can see a system will create a view into SC element with this name. Okay, now click on activate. So, once we activate this, go to SCP SC element, at the right name, click on display. So here you can see our CDS database view is created with this name and the DDL data definition name is ZKPTP underscore CDS03. The name which we have given here. Okay, and with this we can search the CDS view. So now our CDS view is generated in SAP. We'll check in the backend system. So next what we'll do, we'll expose the CDS view as the OEDA service. Okay, so we'll generate OETA service from the CDS view. For that, we have to add the annotations. Iterate here, type OETA.publish, OETA.publish true. Okay, so now with this single line annotation, system will generate a OETA service in the backend system. Now, once we add these annotations, Save, check, and activate. 
So once we activate, if any errors are there, system will display the errors. I can see there are no errors, only warning messages. But to, to check the service name, just put a cursor here. Here we can see the service zkbtp underscore cts03 underscore cts. This is the service name which we can search in SAP. So all the service will get created with this service name. Now what we'll do, I will go back to SAP system and open new transition code slash n slash iw fnd slash ment underscore service to register and maintain the service. Click on add service, place name as local and technical service name and the service name here you can see the OATA service successfully created. Click here. I want to register this as a local object. So click on local object, press enter. Now the service will get registered. So you can see service zkbtp underscore cds03 underscore cds was created and its metadata successfully loaded. Okay, so next maintain. We'll check the cds view details. So here click on find. Here you can see what record form. Double click on this and then click on SAP Gateway Client. Select the entity. System will by default create the entity set and add the URL option as format dollar format equal to JSON. Click on Execute. So here you can see the status code is 200. That is success. And you can see the date records here. See, I added five columns, VBLN, ER date, AUART, NetWR, Kunar. So all those five columns we can see here. Okay, so now our old service is ready with this name ZKBTP underscore CDS03 underscore CDS. Okay, so till now what we have done, we have created CDS view. We published that CDS view as the old service. And after that in SAP, I have registered and I have test that service whether the output records are coming or not. The first part we have done. The second what we will do, we will add some annotations in this CDS views.